like to send a shout out to my boy Hideo Tokoro. Yeah, absolutely. I thought uh, I thought he won. I thought he won two rounds against L.C. Davis. Uh, round one, very close, but he did. Uh, I mean, he dropped L.C. Davis twice. Might have been you know really quick stuff, but he dropped him twice. I think Tokoro won the first round. I think he should have won twenty nine twenty eight. But just goes to show that some guys like I want to say Tokoro is not in his prime. Because like that, that belies what doesn't work about Tokoro. It's not that he's old or shop worn. I mean, he's just never been like a durable guy, and he's got a ridiculous style. But yeah, he is one of the most calculably entertaining guys in the world. You know, if you're a promoter and you're like Hideo Tokoro, I want you to fight a pro. Like if you if you ask Hideo Tokoro to fight Brock Lesnar, Bone is <laughs> on that. Like for twenty thousand dollars or less, Hideo Tokoro will try to roll a knee by Brock Lesnar in an MMA fight. And I think that's dope as hell. Might Hideo do it. Tokoro yeah, dude, Hideo Tokoro, even if this guy ends his career at, like, 500, doesn't begin to explain all the fun time. Tokoro, no shit's given. Just just grapple around, roll around, try to get a leg lock, try to get a heel hook, try to get a triangle, try to get an arm bar, or die trying. Tokoro's got to be in a special place at the Hall of Fame. The guy beat up on Hoist Gracie, and then... And then oh, with you also, to- also, thank you for bringing this up, by the way, Frank. If we're talking about uh, time limit draws or, or mandated draws, prescribed draws by the rules in which one guy got his ass kicked, Hideo Tokoro beat Hoist Gracie's ass on New Year's Eve in courtesy of like time limit Gracie rules foolishness. Didn't get a win. Garbage. Shouts to all the times he fought all the super dangerous Lithuanian guys in Zest and got his head beat in. <laughs> Shout-outs to all the times in K1 Heroes that he fought guys three times his size. Shout-outs to all the times in Dream that he had to fight guys like Daisuke Nakamura that were twice his size. Hideo Tokoro is the king. He suffers for our catch-wrestling enjoyment. He's, he's the catch-wrestling Jesus. 